Here you will see an empty dashboard screen. Of course, after you've created some invoices and bookings, you will see something similar to this screen. It is important to update your settings before continuing. Here you can enter details about your business, such as business name, tagline for invoices, your contact details and your logo, as well as tax rates and your PayPal address to receive payments from your customers. This information is used to display your business info on new invoices. On this screen, you can also choose whether or not to display the PayPal links or invoice numbers displayed on invoices. You can choose the currency you wish to use here also. Before adding any invoices, you first need to create a new client. You can do this by clicking New Client in the left navigation or from the Client drop-down menu on the top of the screen. We will enter a new client here. It is a simple process. You must ensure that you enter a car registration number. This is required for other aspects of the software to identify the customer. When you have done this, you are ready to start sending invoices. You will now see your newly created client. For demo purposes, the client just created is not visible here. But here you can see the actions you can take on invoices and bookings once you have entered a few in an easy overview. The red buttons below your business name have everyday functions, easing accessibility from the dashboard. You can search for a client, create a new invoice and make a payment to a client account. Clients. This screen allows you to manage your customers' records and you can see detailed listings along with easy quick actions on client accounts. You can easily search for a client using this black search bar by entering name or clicking alphabetical search options to search by first name. Clicking on car registration brings up customer accounts. The icons on the right of the customer perform quick actions, viewing customer account, edit customer details, create new invoice, make a payment, delete the client. Please note, this will delete all invoices for that customer also. Under Outstanding Invoices, you will see a list of any customers owing you money. Clicking on a current name will bring you to the account page of that client. The icons on the left allow you to carry out quick actions. You can view PDF of invoices, edit the invoice, email reminder to the client, and make payments. We will now have a look at the top navigation, which offers easy access to many features. Any tab can be clicked on to bring up the listing screen for that selected. For example, clicking invoices brings up all outstanding invoices. The drop-down menu gives aging options and shows records of paid invoices. You can also create new invoices from this menu. The bookings menu has options to view booking list or create a new booking. Estimates working the same way as bookings. Bookings. Next we will look at the booking screen. You can see at a glance upcoming bookings. The calendar on the right allows selection by today, tomorrow, the next seven days and the current month. Also, the calendar's highlights on days where bookings have been made. Creating a new booking is quick and easy. Select your client, select the date for the booking, and the time, enter the details, and indicate if this is a service or not, and save. You will now see your newly booked client on the listing screen. Invoices. The Invoices menu in the top navigation shows your outstanding and aging invoices as well as paid invoices. The quick action on the right of the invoices are to view PDF of invoice, edit and make changes, email it to a customer, make payment and void the invoice.
Creating an invoice is a breeze. You can use the menu on the left or from the invoices menu at the top of the screen selecting new invoice. First select your client, then enter date, the labour details and so on. As you add parts, auto prediction is used to automatically fill in the part name as you type using an intelligent learning database. As you add each item on the invoice or make any change, the totals are recalculated in real time. Creating a repair order is a simple process. The repair order is made of a labour element and a part element. You add the part and the labour involved. All totals are calculated in real time. When you have finished a work order, you can print it or you can track time on the repair order screen or using our mobile app. This is the repair order screen where you can track jobs, clock in and out to automatically track time on jobs, and billing on labour is calculated for you. The green clock is to clock in, the red to clock out. The PDF icon on the right can view the work order. Our mobile app, available on Google Play, allows you to clock in and out of a repair order. Saint Dashboard. When you view a client, you will see full details for that client, including their contact details, vehicle information, the last and next booking, and a full history of client transactions, including invoices and payments received. From here, you can update client details, such as address, email, phone, and other contact details. From here, you can also update mileage and last service on vehicle. From this screen, you can create a new booking, invoice or payment, and produce a client statement.